Okay, it's time to cast some magic missiles. All right, which one are you hitting with magic missiles? What's closest to me? The one, that one that Thaddeus is pointing to, the one that's right in front of Percy. Okay, that's the one in front of Percy. I don't want to get Percy in the process. Magic missiles go around corners, doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, so I'm casting magic missile against that badass. Are you moving? Actually, from where they are, it's almost equidistant to that one or this one. Okay, who's the one that was just throwing just, the boulder around? Then let's do that. That's that's yeah. the leader. Just attacked. Let's do the leader. You don't have to roll to hit. You just have to roll for damage. Magic missiles, you're casting three of them, or you're standing still. Yeah. And are they heightened or anything like that? They probably are. Let me just go back to my... So they're a first rank spell. If you want to heighten it with a yeah. uh, number two spell slot, so I you'll get one, uh, four one spells. Each. Yeah, I get four. Give me a level two spell slot. Yeah. Oh, one with each additional action. That's six missiles. Mm -hmm. So give me a spell slot and roll six D4s. You, you see, we just happen to have... D four is ready. Mm -hmm. So she casts the spell. Do you have six of them. Oh, it doesn't sound as good when there's one in there. Uh, <laughs> three. Yeah, yeah. I have six of them. So okay, two, can four, you and three. three. Plus four, she plus casts the spell. Nine. Ten, oh, it has a buzz over there. 15, 16. Sixteen points of damage plus one is seventeen points of damage. She does to that guy. As they all go into him, and you see all these little blue darts sticking out of him. And uh, he is at that many. Okay, um, that's the end of your turn. You can't do anything else. It becomes one of the Dwergar's turns. And it's the one that is right beside Raven, who is standing on the Raven, on the rock. He looks up at Raven who's right beside him. Uh, Percy's right in front of him. Mm. Percy was the one that was dealing with him. He can't really reach Raven, but he can, uh, he can uh, reach Percy and he decides he's going to take a big swing with a giant maul that he's got at Percy. So, uh, he goes to strike Percy And he critically hits Percy. No. Yeah. He critically Where's hits Percy. Where's that tiger when you need him? Well, I don't, wait. I don't think he did. Let's have a re-roll on that. All right. Oh. So, Colonel Sheth happens. And he winds back and he takes another swing at him. And this time when he strikes him, he misses him. Oh. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Feed my butt. Saved my furry tiger butt. <laughs> and he, he looks, he's like, mm, he doesn't want what's happening there. What's and you hear on? muttering in some guttural dwarven language. <laughs> and he tries another swing. And he misses critically this time. Oh. oh. Swings around. And let's see if he's even able to stay on his feet as it happens sort of loser yes guy. he's able to stay on his feet nice high 17. he stays on his feet no problem uh he has got one action left and he decides that he is gonna try and uh step away and so let me see what else has he got here here in mind okay so he Decides that he's going to step around the rock and hug it closely with just the step action so that he is out of line of sight of a couple of the other players. And then that becomes, uh, there's one more here, one more guy, man. And this guy, where is he? He's there. He's got a perfect line of sight of Raven and Percy, and uh, Thaddeus. 
and he decides to lob he decides to lob a bomb so from where he is he doesn't move he throws this you see this bubbling green flask flying through the air he's going to try and hit percy with it so percy's the target and he goes to hit him and he hits him and the damage is one point of damage no sorry two points of damage and a third point of damage three points of damage and raven takes one point of damage splash damage what's the and substance? it is acid like... burning them oh. mm. like no persistence here apparently it was like an that? acid flask that breaks and but a weak and, acid and which which i was not through the guy that threw it what they just do with the is this feller back here that guy, okay that's the guy that threw it can we throw baking soda on them and see what happens <laughs> see if that saves them <laughs> they take the damage egg? of the as the acid instantly instantly hurts them and it becomes but well, we have flour and eggs no we <laughs> sold it no, no, no you didn't you oh yeah you did you did vinegar you did. makes like a volcano i, I get it yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, I was fun. thinking we don't have baking soda. Josephine, it's your turn. We did it one time. Thaddeus, you're after the next monster. Josephine, and then Thaddeus, then Percy. The what would you like to do? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Which one are you Which shooting at? Q. Those two? Mm -hmm. With both of your peacemakers? Roll to hit. Coming out of the TV. Yeah, that's annoying. Can that go away? Is that my TV? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's music from the thing. Hold on. It's With the, the left cue, I, I roll a thank you, a seven. Hmm. Well, that misses. I know. Just looking for my revolvers here. What's your strike on your revolvers? Thirteen. I'm just looking for it right now. Uh, 13, yeah. Miss. Okay. My left misses, so that would be this guy here. Okay. Shoot with your right. My right also misses. <laughs> okay. No. So, yeah. pow, pow, you fire off your first two shots. Can you I have at least two more them? actions. Mm. No, they don't look faced at all. I have two more actions? Yeah, okay. two more actions. You're standing on the boulder, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. No, you have one more action. Sorry, because that's pow pow. That's pow pow is two actions. Wait, I don't With know if my... it is. I think she has a special ability. Didn't she have a double strike as well? She has a double strike as part of her. Um... I think pew pews is like one action. Like yeah, I think I think to... it might be. Check your check your skills um, under your uh, special abilities. Your feet. My feet. Check your Check feet. Because they're stanky. <laughs> you need to trim your toenails because your feet is getting over hung. What would you, you do with the next hit? What would you roll? I rolled an 18. You hit. I okay. know. <laughs> but I don't Good. know. Good. I like it when they know. But I don't know. For, uh, so that would be uh, with the left again. Yeah. And it All would right. be this guy right here. All right. Roll the damage on that peacemaker then. The total damage on that peacemaker is it's a one d eight and a one d four. What's your attack with your peacemaker? Yeah, she hit that time with the peacemaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, one d eight, one d four. One d eight, one d four. What are you laughing? What happened? You'll see. Okay. Mm, Ten. Seven and a three. And I think you get a little bit of bonus on that. You just get one point. So you get one point. Uh, so you did 11 points of damage to this guy. Cool. He has been undamaged up until now. So that is that. Uh, and uh, you hear him howl, howl in the back. 
say some kind of cursing dwarves. I changed my HP to 38 and it went back to 45. I don't know what, what happened there. Okay. Oh. And it becomes becomes guilty Dwergar Bandit's turn. Guilty Dwergar Bandit. Guilty Dwergar Bandit looks about, knowing that he's cast his boulder and he can't do it again. He's got a... Does he have spells? No, he's got a staff. And he decides... What's this thing right here? What's that say? Uh, okay, fine. Uh, he decides it's time to approach. So he actually approaches and he goes 5, 10, 15, 20... He gets to there. Then he he attempts with a second turn to climb the dwarf beside him. <laughs> Give me an hand, oh pudgy. And he slips and he falls back. No! The, one, the other guy won't help him. So he's like, ah! And he takes a swing at you with the end of his staff. He's going to target Josephine. And uh, he's going to try and hit her with his staff. And uh, he hits her all right. And he does... Another ankle biter. Another smash in the ankle. And it is eight points. With the end of his staff smashes you. And you have to roll to see if you stay standing. And you're rolling with disadvantage this time. This is two in a row. So, how'd you do? Doesn't look good. Are you happy? I rolled a four. You rolled a four. Oh. You are prone. Oh. That's all. Just prone, though. No more damage or any of that other stuff. Lay down, Sally. Um, That's right, Josephine. My name is Joe. Thank you Lay very much. Lay down, Josephine. Rest here in my arms. It becomes Thaddeus' turn. It is. Percy, you're going to be after another Dwer Dwergar bandit. Okay. His song was about his dog. Oh, so was Mandy, about apparently. There. So that I can shoot um, my knives. You at are advancing out. to there. Yep. Oh, and you back up where the close enough. Yep. Where are we? Who are we shooting at? This guy. Yep. This guy. Is he get there? And you're gonna shoot hilt. that guy. The pearl hilt handle. Did we set any timers? I don't know. Uh, we what did times now? Nine forty-four. Nine forty-four. Twenty-one. 21 misses. 21 misses? Don't you have like super duperness? <laughs> and uh, 17 plus 9. Do you get 9 on your second one? That would make sense. Yeah. Hits. Uh, so the damage. Get that dwarf. Get him. Get him. Get him, him. good. Get him good. Make him pay. Make him blow it up. Cut him off at the head. The ones that throw uh, the bottles, they have really high armor classes. As you, as you know, because that's what he's attacking. Six plus two. Eight. Eight. Yep. And you get a little bit of bleed on it, don't you, or something? Got a little bit of bleed on that. Yep. How much is it? What is it? Yeah. These are gold two dagger damages. Is the cat out? The cat wants in. It says 1d4 bleed. 1d4 bleed is what it says. All right, roll a d4 for the bleed, please. I did. That's, oh. Yeah, I counted that in. Okay, so, oh, so it was a total of six? The have answered you. Eight. Sorry, eight. say again. I'm eight. Gonna... It was eight. It was eight. All right, I'm going to just take that off, this guy. Uh, bidoo, bidoo, bidoo. Okay, and... Uh, Dargar. I've been trying all night. You. Do I have one? Do I have one action? Yeah, left? you have another action. Absolutely. Okay. Battle assessment. Actually, do you have two actions? Oh no, you moved. Okay, your battle assessment. Yeah. And w when you do battle assessment, I always have to go read. I can never remember this stuff. If luckily, it's already on here. When you do your action of battle assessment, you do the strength and weakness, the secret perception check. And against the deception, one I rolled a one perception check. See what that means. Chooses two of the following piece of information to tell you.
resistance. Okay, so you want to know about this guy? You get to know as much as I can tell you about him. Which one? He's obviously uh, the one that you were assessing when you went to hit just now, right? Um, well, I thought generally as a group, but not sure. I'll All right, you know one about one. this one particularly yep. and generally as a group. What you know is that the ones that uh, are ranged have very high armor classes. The ones that attack with the mauls do not. They have medium armor classes, lower than your own. Uh, you uh, notice they're all carrying war hammers, though. Um, and uh, they really don't like, clearly you can see that they've got very pale skin and weak eyes. That's what you know about them. Clearly yeah. there's something that, that they're susceptible to light. Okay. Uh, and that becomes the next. And the next one is the one who you just did. Uh, where is he? Hey guys, the very light sensor. One beside. If that helps. Speaking of dwarves, I just learned from a friend who I've uh, recently met who's Welsh. He lives in Wales. Um, he's teaching me a lot about whales and i was telling him how i was watching indiana jones this past couple days and he says that um I, I forget the name but the the arabic fellow is actually played by a welshman who also yeah. is the gimli. dwarf yes gimli yep. yes yes i never knew these things i i assumed that john reese davis they were, yeah yes, john reese davis yes yeah. i assumed that they were different people no no they're not. He's the master of the sea. Mm -hmm. That's him. Okay, so... Uh, but he's very Welsh. He also did the voice of Treebeard. Yes. Realizing that the fireball makes them the vulnerable, the one of the ones in the back has run up, used his action, and he has literally run into the melee throng. And he is now... You see I moved his token? He's now between all the three of you as enemies, and he is going to try and take a whack at Thaddeus with his maul. Uh, the one in the front of the stone, I think, right? That one, yes. That one? That's the one. Okay. He's going to try and take a whack at you with his maul. He's got at, a big at, stone At maul. me or Thaddeus? At Thaddeus. At Thaddeus. So he targets Thaddeus. And Does Nimble Dodge apply? Nimble Dodge is already <laughs> always active because <laughs> it is two, two points point. of armor class. Armor oh my class. God, how many times I have to say it. <laughs> it's many but times it's, but it's like really cool to say Nimble Dodge. I mean, nimble nimble dodge you with, I would like to Nimble with seven points above that because your armor class yeah. of 25, he beats. Ow. So he then, with his damage... And these things have pitiful damage. It sucks. It's your eight for eight points of damage. That's <clears throat> pitiful. It is considering considering the stuff you guys are dishing out. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are his two actions. He's got one more action, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, you see the ground. He causes the ground around you to tremble, and every creature. On the ground in a 10 foot em emanation takes damage with a fortitude save. Fortitude save from Thaddeus, Percy, Raven, and Josephine. My first guy got out okay. My second guy is too far away. He doesn't count. So, how do we do? 28. 28 is your total. Okay. 22. 24. Fortitude is, oh, 10. Uh, 14. <laughs> 28 means you take half damage. Josephine, you said how much? 14? 14. Take full damage? 28, 2. You take half damage. And Thaddeus? Uh, 24. 24, you take um, uh, half damage. Half damage, half damage, half damage, full damage. 2d8, bludgeoning. Let's find a d8. So you guys... Three. 
You take seven points. You guys each take three. Oh. Bludging damage from the tremor that shakes the ground. I am down 30 points already in this attack. And I feel like it's barely even started. Okay. Um... I think our squishy wizard and our wondrous uh, mage need to do something. It is now Percy's turn. Okay, uh, Percy is right next to this guy who just did uh, a swipe at my friend. Yep. So I am going to hit back. And I'm just wondering what the hell What do you mean, my... squishy wizard and cleric? What do you mm. think we've been doing? Well, I know, I know, but you know. You say they need to do something. Well, we're I, trying I to do something. I think he's saying, like, our hope lies in your hands. Our hope lies in you guys. Because you're greater. You're able to do larger amounts of damage to more of them because there's there's quite a few of them. And wow. there's... And they keep chopping only, at ankles and it hurts. Whacking at us turn. and knocking us down. <laughs> Jerks. Yeah, you've done, and you did really well on yeah, your one turn. I thought. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay, so nice. You are so far out of camera and far, and everything. Oh, sorry. Why don't you put the, the yeah, thing yeah. where it's supposed to be? So yeah. it was 19 plus uh, 12, so... Um, or, yeah, 19 plus 12, so well, whatever the hell that is, like 30... One. 30. 31. Th yeah. Hits, obviously. 31 hits, obviously. 31 crits. Oh, good. Okay. And that was my uh, Bowie and not... It's not so good for the tomahawk. Nothing working on the tomahawk. So, damage on the bowie? The damage on the bowie was... Six, seven times 214. What's that? 214. No. 14. Five. Is it times 14. two? 14. Seven. Okay, Times done. two. So that is... 14. 30. Uh, that is 28 points of damage. Because you critted him, right? Yeah. Well, I, I yeah. or were you seven. already critting him? I was already doubling. Fourteen, so, okay. Fourteen, 30. Uh, and then gotcha. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit again with my. Uh, that was your uh, twin takedown. That was my twin takedown, and now I'm gonna do it with the tomahawk again. Okay. And that doesn't work. And you miss with the tomahawk. And uh, last turn. Wait, wait, he's is this guy flanked? He is flanked. So do you get um, attack bonuses with flank? Yes, he loses armor class when he's flanked. Does he? Yes. What was your role? Well, it was. It, he only loses two points of armor class. Uh, it yeah. was. It was only a four. I'm so not, not going to make it with that. Wouldn't have done it <laughs> if it but was. I, if you were close, though, if you're up in the eighteen to twenty range, then you're going to be close, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to do the futile thing. And you do the futile thing. Nope. And, and it's, I, futile. it's futile. Okay. And okay. it becomes the next Dwergar's turn. And this one, where is he now? Where are you, Dwerg? Are you little bastard? You are the helpless one. You are still one out there. You decide best thing to do is what your mates have done. Let's have a look at what your gear is. Uh, you have a dagger and a staff. You've already used those. Best thing for you to do is run in and help your mates. So you run in to do exactly that. You go down and over and down and over and over. And you attempt to climb up on your mate's shoulders, just like the other guy did. You're going to try and get at these damned humans that are on this big rock. And you roll four and utterly fail to do so. <laughs> So you hear him all of a sudden muttering under his breath. And uh, Josephine is laying prone on the rock. And as as he gets ready to swing her at her with his maul, he says, whispering with his foul breath right in her face, you know we tracked you from that camp you passed by, don't you? One of you's got that great big nasty Donnie magic thingy with him, and we're gonna have it. I know. Great big Donnie magic thing. Nasty Donnie oh. magic thingy. Right. Was uh, he figuring he's gonna eat it? <laughs> Made good well, time he's not gonna answer it. He's too busy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think they can use it the way you use it? Two. He misses you abysmally. 
And it becomes Raven's turn. Hooray! Raven, Raven, Raven gets a second turn. Short little legs. Raven, Raven, Raven. What are you doing? I'm pondering my choices. Lavinia, so you'll be up after legs. Raven. There's a monster between the two of you. Okay. Um, well, I have Fireball. Let's use that because that's always fun. But where? Uh, so right. I need to know where my my uh, burst is. I uh, shall mm. give you a burst like before. A radius. A 20 point burst is that big. And where would you like it to be? Um, well, let's have it. Let's have it. Um, on this area right here so i can get this guy and maybe two of those others that's correct you can get those those guys right there those three and that will be uh, the best i can do best you can do is fireball those boys fireball them they boys. are going to roll for their fortitudes uh i gotta see what they're that's a basic reflex hold on and they got a uh, their reflex they're rolling their reflex the 21 is my difficulty class first one does not make your difficulty class Second one makes it with flying colors. Oh. Uh, eight and 19, 27. Second one rolls a 27. Hi, dog. Are you okay? Hmm? Third one fails. Do you need to go out? Huh? Go. Go. Go see mom. Here, go see Amanda. Go, 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 go. Don't bug me. I'm busy. Simon, what's I'm trying to do the math on the last one. Lucky tree. Lucky tree. Idiots. Open the door. What was the DC? Uh, 21. In the condition that it's not a crit. I thought it was a critical failure, but it's one, he made it out, out by, one point. by one point. So they all do half damage. And it yeah. is. Did then one fail? You said one failed. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Not a critical failure. No, but it was a oh, failure. Oh, no, sorry. That, so it's... Two fails and one yes. success. Yes, so it's one full damage, two... No, two full damage, one half damage. Okay, two full I'll damage, see your two damage. full damage and raise you... Uh, okay, How much? 20 points of uh, damage. 20 points of damage? So the full damage one gets... Um, 20 points. Um, These guys must the full be getting 20. really beat up by now. Uh, he's really close to you, that full damage one. And he takes 20. He's got 20. The other one who's close to you that gets roasted, he takes 20 as well. And he looks like he's in pretty bad shape. He's the one closest to you to the north, and he's burned so badly that you can see there's a pretty heavy reaction from him. He's like, oh, and I believe he's actually the leader of the group. There's one that takes half damage that's in the back. Uh, no, I thought this one was the leader. Yeah, this one's the leader. The, oh, that's what okay. I'm, uh, no, the one beside him. That one's the leader. Yeah. Oh, okay. This, this oh, wait, no, the that's leader. leader. You're right. Okay. No, so the leader doesn't take damage. It was one of the other guys. Sorry, I got the, they're two same icons, so I got them confused. Okay, so they're, they're damaged. I did all their damage. Okay, and my last remaining move, I'll call upon my familiar Drema. And she'll yes. use her restorative familiar. No, she'll use her restorative familiar trait, which gives me um, restore a number of hit points equal to one d eight times half my damage or half my level, I should say. Right. So I'm that right. is two points for the level, and a one d eight, and that's what you get to heal two, up. Two d eights. Two d eights. Yeah. And two points for the level. No, I roll two d eights because it's my level. Um, half of my level. Oh, so yeah, that's how many you roll. Half. I get it. Okay, sorry. I thought that was just straight points for that. So I get nine restorative hit points. And you restore yourself nine hit points. That's the end of your turn. That's it for it me. It becomes another one of these damn Dwyer Gar's turns. And which one is it this time? They're all clustered around you. They know to get in close because it's dangerous to be near. It's the head leader himself, the one who bellowed. And what does he do? Oh, I need the other thing what does he do he casts 
you see him spinning his hands in the air. And as he does, he begins to grow. And he's getting bigger and bigger and he's becoming enlarged as he casts a spell on himself. Spell of Viagra. I don't think that's going to work in this, in this scenario. Okay. When he does it, he grows from being medium to being large. He's large now. He's a bigger target. And yep. yes, he is. Uh, he's also slightly clumsy too. No longer an ankle biter. Or an ankle whacker. Spell effect and granted by a large. He actually becomes huge. I don't know. I can't tell, for example. I'm going to read it more later. Because we're playing and I'm just going to say, okay, he's a lot bigger than he was. He is now as big as this rock that you guys are standing on. And he, now that he has done that. Well, I'm laying on it. But... You're laying on it. His reach increases by five feet. And yeah. he gains a plus two bonus to melee damage. And he's got a big old maul. This might be the game that I die. If he'd heightened it to fourth level, he'd be huge if that were the case. No, that's right. And he can't heighten a fourth level because he's not a high enough level creature. Okay, it's good to know. So, uh, he takes his maul, brings it over his head, and tries to swing it straight down on Josephine. And he rolls to attack her. And he hits her with a 29, no thinking, problem. I'm just too bad I just sold my shield. Mm. <laughs> and he does 12 points of damage to Josephine. Uh-oh. What are you down to? 11. All right. That was the last turn that he had. He finishes that turn and it becomes Lavinia Rose's turn. Okay. I'm, I know these guys are idiots and they're doing what they're doing, but I am casting a heal on Josephine right now. Okay. So you're standing back here by the Mastodon. You have not moved. I'm going to make that Mastodon move a little bit. Oh, sorry. Well, he's gone. Well, he's gone. Again. Oh, he's gone. Duh. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Book. Because he, so, he got hit. So help, you're standing back help there. Help me tell who's where because I can't really see. Josephine's there. Josephine's lying there. down there. Um, Raven. Raven. Percy. Percy. Thaddeus. Okay. I'm... D don't. Please don't cast a heal. Like, we need to demolish these guys. If you cast a heal, that means they get more. Not not if I walk up to you and lay my hands on you. But then that's using up your all your turns. It's the same thing. I'm sorry. I'm just really pissed. Okay. Um, I still need to move a little bit closer. I'm going to cast Bone Spray on... This guy who is there. Okay. You have to move around the rock, though, if that's the case. You'll have to go. Right now, He, you can't hit him through the rock with bone spray. You've got to have a line of sight. You've got to move over another space. Yeah, you got to move over another space. Oh. He's got line of sight. No, not with the edge of that rock. I won't give her line of sight yet. Okay, I'll give her line of sight there. Okay. Bone spray? Bone spray. All right, I'm going to move um, you into place. Porcupine shield guy. Will it also affect the other guy too? She can, uh, no, it won't because he's too far away. I thought it was a cone. I Don't believe spray. it's a 15 foot cone, but it's I can 15, check for you. Yeah, it's a 15 foot cone. Yeah, because if it's yes. a 15 foot cone, shouldn't it go like this, like that? Yeah, it will. I'll, I'll allow mm -hmm. it for both of them. Yeah. So, roll the hit. Fifteen plus eleven. Yeah, plus eleven. So twenty-six. Twenty-six. Just looking at trying to find the bone spray spell. So, uh, uh, by the way, I need a rank two uh, token, please. 
It's going to cause 2d10 piercing damage if it hits. How much did you roll for? 26. 26 hits, no problem. It is not a crit. And one persistent bleed damage. One persistent bleed. But you've got to roll your 2d10s. D- and that's for both of them. Uh, that- I'll just do both damage to did- both. You rolled a level two or level three? Three d tens. Did you? If you rolled well, a, if you give so it, I mean, if, if that's the case, I should be getting in the three, not the two. Yep. Okay. And then you can roll can three d tens. Yeah. Thanks for calling that. I just didn't know which level you passed. Yeah. The man is giving you a d ten. So just roll three times. A ten. A ten. That's a good one. Do that twice more. Mm-hmm. Can't see it. A nine. nine. And a three. And a three. So 22. total. Twenty-two damage. So you do twenty-two damage to each of them. Uh, I gotta get the right. And one mm-hmm. persistent bleed nice. damage. And one persistent bleed. One persistent bleed. So uh, the first one takes twenty-two damage. Good shooting, Tex. Yeah. Good. And the one behind him takes 22 points, and he looks pretty badly. Like the leader it. is grievously injured by this. He looks like he's in pretty bad shape. Good. Excellent. F that leader. <laughs> Bless you. Let's see. Well, okay. Really I could, I could use some blessing. See, now, I kept thinking that's the was, leader. That's that is the leader, yes. The leader? You corrected me from me saying the other one was the leader. Which, which one's the leader again? Can can you point for the for the camera though with the pointy thing? So otherwise your hand is obscuring the vision. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a pointy thing? We've got at least two pointer thingies. Okay. Um. So it is now. Another Dwyer Gar's turn. Take it off uh, Adventure Screen for a sec. Why does it show me on Adventure? That doesn't make sense to me. Oh well. Okay. Anyways, it's another. It is the. It is the leader's turn. And he turns around, and uh, he decides this is going to be a fight to the death, and he targets Josephine. No. And he rolls to hit. Let's pop that open. Um, says Iron Mind. Didn't he just have a, t- a turn? He did. And he enlarged. Yeah. Didn't There's the two Twer- Dwergar Taskmasters. Do I have the wrong one? I don't know. Oop. Don't put that on him. Oh, okay, hold on. the one who enlarged. Because the one who enlarged. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. I got the wrong one. Here. It, this is the other one. Yeah. That's the right one. Okay. Do you have the pointer stick, Dave, so we can see which one I is taking I found it. Here it is. Here's a pointer stick. Yeah, okay. which, which one is taking the turn now? Okay, so it's actually the other one with the black beard, the one that is black there. Beard. Yes. That one's taking a turn now? Yes. Okay. That's the big guy? I can ping him on the... on the. Can I ping him? Am I allowed to do ping? Only you guys are allowed to do ping, it looks like. Hmm? What the heck is a ping? Well, that's mm-hmm. where you double click and then there's a little bloop on the map to show where you're pointing with your cursor. Okay. Uh, he decides that the best thing for him to do is going to be to cast harm. Ooh. Harm. 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 So he stands don't where have he my is. Ambulate yet. And he begins to channel void energy. You channel void energy. is limited in void damage. And gets a fortitude save. Damn it. Who's he? A 30 foot emanation. No, he's going to go for a, a just a range of touch. He's going to reach out and he's going to touch someone that's standing on a rock. Reach I don't know if he can reach out, touch you. me. 
I don't think he's going to be able to reach you. He decides the smarter thing to do will be to move over here. And I touched Thaddeus. He reaches oh. out and he touches Thaddeus. Because mm. he can't reach Raven. He's too short. So he reaches out and he touches Thaddeus. And Thaddeus needs to make a fortitude save. Uh, 17. And it is uh, unless I that. Unless I want to try that again. Do you want to try that again? I want to try that again. All right. So let's try that again as your feet. I know you can use that feet once now for, I don't know, was it once a day or something? Uh, 22, 25. Okay. So, um, you're able to resist it, <laughs> which means if he moved out of my way, do I get an opportunity attack? There are no opportunity attacks unless they're relegated to special things. That's a D and D thing, not a pop power thing. So, no. Um, two, two action version. Is increased. It just kind of one action. Wet. So he tries again. Fortitude save. Don't pet the sweaty things or sweat the petty things. Mm -hmm. He has one action left. He's going to try he's again. He's wet because it's raining outside. I, I get just it. pet him and I was like, yeah. ew. Uh, <laughs> don't pet the wet things. 19. Yeah, he gets you that time. Ow. Oh, that's not the right die he hurts you for nine points of damage as he reads out and hurts you with void energy and it becomes oh Dwergar bombardier's turn the one fella that's still in the back he decides it's time that he tried to get you two guys off of the ledge too so because he doesn't want to burn his friends oh you you click and hold to ping he runs up and he tries to climb onto his buddy's shoulders to try and get up onto this stone and he rolls a 20 he has no problem and he is all of a sudden standing on top of his buddy beside him and he decides that he's going to take a swing at this squishy wizard has been the, the bane guy, of his life the one who just moved over to me the one you're pinging is the one who just moved over to me. Move the other guy there. The guy that's in the back. No. That guy. Yes. That's correct. So he's on the boulder then? He is now. Because he pushed me all. But he's all standing right. on his buddy's shoulders. So he's tall enough that he Which can. Which buddy? Wait, there's no buddy there now. Well, there's, uh, there's a guy right beside him. Oh, so he's standing on that guy's shoulders. Standing on that guy's shoulders. Guy yeah. Okay. So he's a double stack dwarf. It's a double stack dwarf and he can now reach you and he decides the one on the bottom is, is now he's a dwarfinator. He's a <laughs> dwarf stool. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's what you find behind the dwarves. He <laughs> decides that he's going to hit you with his war hammer. Eek. So he rolls to hit. Have we got him targeted? Raven T. There we go. Roll to hit. You're a squishy wizard. He can hit you. Oh, he just does it with a plus one. He barely missed. He almost missed. And uh, the damage that he rolls is 11 points of damage. He does. Mm. That's the end of his turns. He used th all three actions to do that. Oh, to run, get up on you, and well get there. Things aren't looking very good. No, I know. We thought that we would be safe on top of this rock. but yeah, Whose yeah. idea was that? Uh, mine first. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I had to get rid of it. Anyways, for my spell. That means next person up in the encounter. Is Josephine. Okay. Josephine gets herself up from prone. Okay, that's one action. You got two actions left. She tells Raven to duck. The Raven ducks. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the way it works, Okay, right? you say, I'll, I'll accept it so far. Well, let's see where it goes. And I 
bring out my whip and I'm smacking all four of these all at once. Three. You want to do a raking hit? Yeah. Okay. Does your whip sweep? Sweeping hit. Why not? Um, I'll allow it. Why not? It's slashing damage. Yeah. Roll the hit. Yeah. It's going to be one roll, and I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to see if they're able to do a reflex save to avoid. Okay. First one Come avoids on, you. Baby. Second one, one that hit that whip has some pluses, right? Yeah. So yeah. Two. What pluses does it have? Um, she does. Uh, for slashing. I'm going to say that they had to do a reflex save because you were doing a sweep, like an AOE. For slashing, which means... it's a, a two times two bleed. What, what plus? Plus 12. Plus for 12 for strike. And then, yeah, the damage is uh, 3d4 slashing plus two bleed. So roll a 1d8. I mean a 1d12. Yeah. Instead of the three D4s? Yeah. Uh, I still have to roll the hit. It doesn't matter. I, I decided to make it a reflex save. Okay. I rolled their reflex. But, You're doing full damage to two and half damage to two. But if she rolls a three D4, then she can get a minimum of three points. But if she rolls a one D12, she gets a minimum of one point. We'll make sure that she adds we, she gets more than the minimum. Okay. Just being... what sorry, what am I rolling? One D twelve. Roll one D twelve. One D twelve. Just because the D fours are such a pain in the ass to roll. This one, the one that looks like a. It's a, it's got five sided sides. Yeah. It is a oh, twelve sided yeah. object. So pretty. It's I've a, never used this one it's before. A, no, we don't use it's the D twelve. It's a dodecahedron. <laughs> Come on, baby! Big money, big money, big money. I rolled a three. Roll again. Okay. Three or lower. Roll again. I rolled a two. Roll again. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> no. I should have just used the four side ones, but it doesn't I know, matter. right? What's going on? I rolled a. You rolled a six. So you do six points of damage. And it, doesn't it have a little bit of bonus on it, that whip? It's, yeah, it it's a plus two bleed. Okay, bleed. so I'm going to give that a total of eight points of damage to those guys, half to two of them. So this guy who's right in front of you, who's close enough, closest to you, gets eight points of damage, which leaves him and this guy beside him that's next to you does eight points of damage, which is these two are stacked. The two stack guys are the guys that got hit, and then on both on the other not that guy because he's on the other side of Raven. The leader takes eight points of damage, and he doesn't do eight points of damage. He only does four points of damage. He is looking like that nearly did him in. And the one beside him takes four points of damage, too. Looks a little bit like balling, strangely enough. Uh, let me see. That's a... Okay. And that's the damage you did to all of them. Better than laying there prone. Nope. Yes, and that's the end of your turn. So it'll take you at least two attacks to do that kind of a sweep. So yeah. that means that it becomes a Guilty Dwarf Bandit's turn. Guilty Dwarf Bandit. He's the one that's the bottom of the double stack. He's holding his buddy. the bottom of the stack. That's why they then you call have him the, wrong the place. bottom of the stack. Yeah, this vroom, vroom. Came in and he stood on top of this one. Is what he said. That's not the. And that mm. this is the leader. He's still the leader. And he grew. Move, He's move, big. Move, move the oh. guys away from the things for a second. Which two guys have the black beard? Move the other ones away that they're also on the guys have black. The guy with the black beard. Which one is he? This one. That's the leader. See, I kept thinking that was the leader. The other two guys are both bombardiers. Right. This this is the one that you originally said was. Uh, well, I can't tell from this angle, right? Okay. And this There's another guy. The okay, one. good. That's so, which right. one is big at this point? This one right here. It's the, the leader, leader who's big. The leader who's almost dead. 
Yeah. And uh, okay. all we got to do is hit him again. And we'll, we'll so the bottom down. two of the stack is also <clears throat> in really bad shape. Yep. He is holding his friend up. So if he tries to do anything, uh, his friend is just going to topple over. So he can't do anything but try and hold his friend up. Okay, good. Makes sense? Yeah. And that means it becomes Thaddeus' turn. Thaddeus. Okay. So uh, I'm going against this guy. Okay. Who attacked me with the exquisite cane rapier. Such a great name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I got as part of the dowry. Yeah. Ah, 20 plus 14. Woohoo! Nice, 34. Crits. Um, did, can I, Thaddeus, can you put your arm up in, in front of your camera a little bit? Just want everyone to notice that he is wearing his wedding band. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He, yes. Is. he is hitched <laughs> to the undersea maid. Okay, so that's yeah, commitment for him. That is commitment. Your damage is a D8 and a D4. He loves his mermaid. And bride. then you get plus four points on that. Two and then two piercing. Yeah, two and two. I don't know why it adds it up that way, but it has. D8 and a D4. Eight and four. Twelve plus the four that's here is 16 doubled is 32 points. 32 points Ooh. of damage. Nice. So with Mother your cane raper, you crit hey. him and you stave Mother his head in. Yes. First one down, baby. And he is dead. First one down. <laughs> you can go. Me you can go. Chasing. <laughs> Good God. Okay. And, um, that was your first attack, right? You have yes. two yes. actions. He's got two actions. Well, He's got... Turn and go against okay, this guy. you're gonna attack yeah, that, that guy. guy. Um, big money. Come on, roll for the big money. Not quite as good. Uh, six plus fourteen. So twenty. Twenty misses. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So close. All you needed was one more point, and you were good to go. You have yeah. Turn. You have, you have one, one turn, turn left. Yeah, attack. Why not? Okay, attack. Two. No. No. I don't think it's all right. Work. All right. So yeah. as you do that, it becomes the next bandit's turn. And while they've been fighting you, you can hear them shouting back to, back and forth. Does anybody here understand dwarvish? Nobody mm -hmm. understands dwarvish, do they? Nobody knows what they're saying. You have no idea. Uh, I mean, I could cast comprehend language on myself. You, right I'm, now, you, yeah. you don't understand what they're saying at all. No. And it becomes the one that you just missed. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's uh, whose ne turn it is next. So he mm. is going to see. He can't reach the squishy dwarf. He doesn't like this big, smelly brute of a trapper in front of him but the little skinny guy with his knives he looks like a good target <laughs> oh dear so he decides that uh the best thing that he can do is cast true to begin with he casts tremor so that means that everybody needs to roll and is it a hold on let me see how far 10 foot emanation so that is everybody but lavinia has to roll a fortitude save. Basic fortitude save. But um ten foot doesn't two get, of them are standing uh, on top of the rock. Josephine. I don't think ten foot gets Josephine. So I think if I gets, make yeah. a target and I draw a ten foot circle and I drag that ten foot circle there, it includes Josephine from oh. his hands as he faces towards Raven. The circle's oh, like way over here. It's way over there. Oh, if I let it go, you'll see what I mean. Okay. Did it show it now? Yeah, now yeah. it does. Okay, yeah. yeah one, two, it's one, two. Would... See, it's right. five, right? Five, ten. Okay. Five, five. But surely the boulder would would absorb some of the tremor. Oh, I'm going to say no. <clears throat> I'm going to say, if anything, the boulder magnifies it. Sixteen. Sixteen fails. Twenty-two. There succeeds. Um, Fortitude save from Josephine. Uh, 16 as well. Fails. 25. Plus, right? Your fortitude, 10. 
So oh, 26. 26 succeeds. And 22. <clears throat> 22 succeeds. 25. So I had failure and the rest of you all succeed. Do you fail or succeed? Succeed, right? 25. Okay, so I had one failure, and that's Raven. Raven's the only one that takes any damage, and he takes... <laughs> Do, do, do. How much is it? How much is the Trevor damage? Two points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can, I can take two points of damage. 2d8. This is how much the winner is. No. He's only got 11 points well, left. He's only got 11. Four. And three. Take seven points of damage. Oh, dude. Well, you guys better start killing these dwarfs, man. Well, we we're, killed we're, one. We're, we're Come up on. here dying on this rock. Oh, no, right. <laughs> Worst move ever. Is this Let's the mountain? Okay. Rock. <laughs> Is this the hill you want to die on? I don't know. No. Uh, it just might be. I need to take a break for a moment. Do you want to right now? I'll be right back. All right, go ahead while we can keep rolling and get this done. Because this is going to be the end of the evening. Yeah, we didn't have this. a break. And I know. So we got involved. Okay, uh, so it becomes Percy's turn. Okay, uh, stabby stab. The guy in front of you? Yep. He's looking at me funny. I want to get him down. Oh, nice. 18 plus uh, 10, so... Hits. Yeah. Uh, that does not crit. Does not crit, okay. And the second one is two garbage. Okay, so first one... Done. First one hits... These doors are tough. Mm -hmm. So, uh, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Okay, that was your that was my first two attack. That was your just your twin takedown. Just my twin takedown. Now okay. I'm gonna try again with the tomahawk. All right, you'll get. Uh, mm. Uh, you said it is 11 plus 9. Uh, it's plus 9, right? Plus 9 is your second attack. So, okay, so that makes it uh, 20, which is, I don't Not think enough. enough. One, yeah, need okay. one more point to do it. One more point to do it. You going to try for a third time? I'm going to try for a third time. I think time. it's a plus 4 on your third time. Yeah. It's a, is it? It's a plus 5 on your third time. Actually, I have a better idea. Yeah. No. Okay, that's fine. Garbage. I was thinking, but I would... No. So, yeah, Tomahawk. Third time. No. Okay, so it becomes the next Dwergar's turn. And uh, as they've all been talking back and forth, all of a sudden, this one suddenly starts casting a... Let me see. Let me see how he does it. How does he do it? Oh, he's not one of the ones that can. Oh, he's tough, but he can't do that. Okay, uh, this one turns, and he bolts for the hills. Running away, eh? Which one is that that's doing that? This one, the ten. The, the. So you see him bolt, and you lose sight of him as he bolts into the bushes. It becomes Raven's turn. Yeah, you guys are really pissing me off. Okay, I have one more fireball. Okay. Ding. I like to cast eyes. it to optimize the hits. I think I can just get, there's two standing on shoulders, right? Yeah. And there's one just off to the side. Yeah, there. so if, if you get this guy, because those are two together, and this guy, so that'd be those three. You can get two out of the three there. You can get all three of these all guys because yeah. this guy's on the shoulders. Because he's on his shoulders, yeah. And this guy that bolted, he's still within range too. Is he? If you put it there, he is still within range. Oh, God. So I will roll the fortitudes. Let's do that. I mean the reflexes. Reflexes. Starting with the guy that bolted, and he rolls an 11. What's What do I got to make? Um, You've got to beat a 21. Let's see if he beats a 21. And that's a reflex. He does not beat it. Next one beats it with flying colors. Uh, hold on. The next one is the leader, as a matter of fact. And 
he, what's his, uh, he beats it, but he does not, uh, critically so succeed. Half, half damage. Half damage. And, uh, the next one who's the, these two are stacked on top of each other. One succeeds and one fails. The one under the bottom succeeds because he's protected by the guy on top of him and the guy on top of him fails. Okay. So you've got uh, one, you got two successes and two fails. Okay. It's 10, 15 points of damage total. 15 points of damage. You see the leader topple over dead. Yay! Yay! The leader's dead. Zero. I'm going to give him the little the disc skull he deserves. Oh, that's interesting. A little animated lettering said dying. And uh, these other two. Um, this one is half, so he is at seven. And this one here took full damage. And the one running away took full damage. And uh, so he's at it. It was 15, right? 15 mm -hmm. total. Two. Yeah. So that's eight. Yeah, okay. Got it. Okay. okay, I figured it all out. My last, I will take a step back. Okay. To move, or I'll move as fast as I can. Are you moving that, on the rock? I'm going to move and jump the, off of the rock. You're going to step back beside Percy like that? Yes. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. It becomes Lavinia Rose's turn. Lavinia, kick him. All right. Okay. So, so you're um, here. Yep. And your next foe is this guy, which we can't see, or you can come around the rock and attack these guys. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that one's in your direct line of well, sight. But what, what's far. the range on that? You can't see him. I can't see him, though. You can't see any of them. From my point of view, you standing where you are, where the token is, and you haven't moved from the token, you've got <coughs> Raven and Percy in front of the one that's in front of him, who's a dwarf. You can't see him through them. Yeah. You've got the other two behind the rock from you. So I have to do some moving first before I can do it. Yeah. You could move to here, and then you could see all the dwarves. Uh, well, two of them, I think. Yes, clearly. you can see two of them from there if you want to yeah. move there. Okay. I want, want to, to actually, I want oh, to move right. right up to one of them. You want to like get touch space? I want to be right there in touch. And I'm going to do something horrible called flints. Okay, so I'm going to go. Did you say flints? Two, one, two, flints? three. Okay. Flints. I'm going to say that if you trample right over top of the dead dwarf, you can get right up to that one right there. So it's a touch spell, and I put it on. You decide to touch the one beside you with flints. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. And what does flints do? Um, it basically strips all their bones and their organs and strip off the flesh muscle <laughs> it's really gross roll to attack are you heightening it's an it? army class can i heighten it's it? like a level one you can heighten it to a level two if you use a two yeah i would use that. it yeah we're we're near the edge here let's do it hang on where's the other one is that mine? No. No, that's your 20. I mean, I'm looking for the other. Oh, this cup? The other cup. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So 10 plus 11, so 21. Hits, I think. Let me double check him. Yes, sir. Roll yeah. for damage. Yes, ma'am. And what's yes, sir, the, counts for a The damage. Know. Seven plus whatever. Wait, you roll two of them. You rolled a d20. Oh, it takes for it damage? takes two d6. Did you roll two d6? Two d6. No, I don't know. Actually, you roll three d6s. 
All right. Oh, no, it increases by, so you actually roll four d6s. Okay. I'll keep track. Four. Four. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Five. Nine. Nine. Eleven. Eleven. Plus you deal um, 2d4 persistent bleed. So 2d4s. 2d4s. Yep. That's a six. You got to roll a four-sided dice. It doesn't matter. The guilty, guilty Dargar Bandit has um, not got enough life and he dies. Woo! There he is. Yay. Another one down. Another one, one bites, bites the dust. dust. And another dwarf down. And another dwarf down. Another one bites the dust. You see the next dwarf suddenly swirling his hands around as though he's going to do something. And suddenly he fades from view. No. Barfin. Which one was this? The one that was on top of the shoulders. Who ended up going down on the ground when the other one died. He fades from view. So he is gone. You can move him away. He is away along with this other one that's uh, away. Okay. Those two are both away. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, fair enough. Don't we'll just put him because over there. we don't know if he's just yeah, invisible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's exactly right. Okay. One you lost sight of in the trees, cover, yeah. full cover. The other one, however, faded away from a magical spell. All right. One left. And it becomes Josephine's turn. Does this MF right here? That MF. That MF. Oh, it's International Falafel Day. That's exciting. And right now you're feeling awful, aren't you? I'm falafeling. Falafeling. Okay. Mabel. Waits. You're going to shoot nope. him from up on the rock? No, nope. we're mm. not doing Mabel because... I would be at a disadvantage being that close to him, wouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. he's still within 10 feet. Okay. Just a pew pew. Okay, two peacemakers. Mm-hmm. All right, roll the hit. <laughs> Mind your aim. Careful. <laughs> Patty's on the other side. Could knock his derby off. First one I rolled with the left, I roll a 12. And with the right, I roll a 15. The left, you rolled a 12. What is your add-on to that? Uh, you uh, get it's, like a 13 uh, It's a 13, strike? yeah. So 26. 25. 25. They both hit. So roll damage. Oh, damage. That is a D8 plus 1. Plus D4. A D4 and a D8. Left rolls a 9, 10. Right rolls a an 8. 18 points of damage? Yeah. All right, you can see that he's pretty grievously wounded. That is the end of your... You have, you have one action uh, left. Yeah, well, D8... Plus one pierce. Plus one pierce. Oh, I guess plus one piercing for each of those. So two more points. Okay, so I'll take two more points. So that make, would make that would make that okay. All right. Um, that's the end of your turn. Is it? You, you have one action. Have one, you have one action. One action left. Okay. Um. Hmm. The left. You gonna try again? Rolled it. I didn't. Miss. Yes. I, I, it was not a one. I did not hit my colleague. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it becomes, the last thing is, it becomes the Dwergar's turn, who's still there remaining. You see him swirling his hands, and as he begins to fade from view, you hear him call out in Latin, We'll be back. And he disappears. <sighs> Those were tough little dwarfs. Little dwarves, yeah. You are left with... Let me get these guys out of here. You are left with three dead dwarves. 
And check the bodies, says See he. See how they run. Raven, they run. Raven says, check Three the bodies. Dead dwarf. Check the bodies now. Three Quick. dead dwarves. We're gold. going to call it right there. It's 1041. Can mm. we not this... do a heal spell or anything? Only? No, you'll just have to stay all wounded for, for the next week. You really need to do a heal before we go? Yeah. Well, for the record, as an alchemist, I can do quick alchemy, and I do have the heal alchemy uh, elixir that I can make, and I can make nine of them. You guys are out of you're out of combat now. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you can decide what you want to do, but I would prefer not to go any further tonight. I want to pick it up next week, including okay. that. We will leave it right there. Combat ended. You guys can think for the week about what you want to do about putting yourselves back together now that you've survived this attack. I need some serious medical attention. I think everybody also does. Think about why you were attacked and the circumstances and the situation and everything that happened. Oh no, you sound like a professor right now. Things happen for a reason. <laughs> like we're writing an essay, a philosophical essay. Maybe we were supposed to follow those bloody tracks. Dwergar saw you and you passed by them and then you camped in the dark. And they're dwarves that are nocturnal. So they're bad dwarves that are nocturnal. Wasn't hard to follow a fucking mastodon. Well, it would be at the speed a mastodon goes with their short little legs. Well, you would think so. Fair enough. <laughs> well, we only went for a couple hours. So. The problem was, is who that knows how, how you far couldn't, you you couldn't go the same distance you did before because you were you were almost like it only took you a little while to get to. And I, maybe I didn't make that clear, but it only took you a very short time to get to the bridge. Right. You were almost right at the bridge when you were at the camp because the camp said, hey, we stopped and we turned back. You also got stopped at the bridge. And it was certainly within chasing distance okay. of them. It took them three hours, four hours to get to you, but they did it because mm-hmm. all they had to do was follow Mastodon tracks. Mm-hmm. But if we'd followed the trail of blood into the woods, we would have been set upon by 65 of them, and they would have killed us, definitely. Well, you don't know what's there. But whatever happened, they they followed you. And also, you know, they almost got the drop on you. If Thaddeus had rolled and had been asleep, that would have let them creep right up to your bodies before attacking. And they would have all critted. Because you're all asleep. But he he raised the alarm enough that you only got hit by a few puny little fire bombs, right? Mm. Like those old alchemist fires that they throw are like not very strong. Anyways, there you go. Uh, do you have any other questions about stuff? Things you want to know? Things you're wondering about? Oh yeah, Dave. I was going to ask you because um, I think I purchased a a vine whip. Yes, I, I have got to follow my, that up. I, yeah, I don't see it in my inventory or actions. Okay, I will get that happening uh, right now before I forget. Because I was thinking about using it today, and then I couldn't because it. No, you couldn't. To it be didn't. It didn't end up seen. getting done with uh, all the other stuff that I was doing. Okay, so we get to sign off then. Uh, yes. Okay. So thank you everybody at home. Um, and, uh, I did not expect you guys to be ambushed by the Diragar. Uh, <laughs> I thought that it was going to be the other way around. Thought we were going to so, ambush them. <laughs> yeah, right. They didn't know you were coming. Anyways. Um, uh, so thank you guys. And we will be back, uh, next Wednesday. What is our schedule like yeah let's take a look at manager so we're okay i'm we're, we're good to go so i'm good everybody good Should we everybody do thank you good? thank yeah. you everyone who, oh, uh, thank you, who joined everybody. us today thank appreciate you. it thank you so much appreciate for dropping it. in and watching thank, us thank you so much sugar for my um our first ever fan mail uh, once again i have to say uh for anyone that missed it she sent me this lovely Meow Shrooms pin. That is so cool. It's so cute, right? Meow Shrooms. Meow Shrooms. So cute. This reminds me of Mario. Thank you so much, Sugar Sugar. Thank you. Love you. Yeah, love you. Okay. And yes, thank you for everyone who uh, watched tonight. We appreciate you very, very much. Hey. 
So and thank you to Dave. You're Dave. Welcome. Thank you, Dave. He rocks. Mm -hmm. I was not ready for them to attack you. Those are not the same dwarfs that I'd made. And those these, are these, on the fly dwarves, which these, is why these I are want not the dwarves you are so looking that I for. Can actually, put loot on their bodies and make them more than just <laughs> just little uh, attack, attack bars. So they will actually have stuff when you check them out next week. Mm. All right, guys, uh, thanks very much. Let's move to uh, end of the stream and we'll pack it up. I'll see you next Wednesday, seven o'clock.